I just wanted to start this video today because it's another exposure therapy video. I wanted to start it with a message just saying, like, there is nothing special about me. There is no special technique that I've learned that I'm using when I'm in these positions. There's no magic word that I'm telling myself. Basically, it's just me realising that if I want to get better, then I've got to put myself in these positions. It's no good me sitting back, reading books, or looking on the internet, and joining forums, and watching other people's videos, or even my own, because that's not going to help me. The only way that I'm going to learn that I'm in no danger, and that these sensations and symptoms that I experience, the only way that I'm going to learn that they're not harmful, is by putting myself in the firing line, so to speak. And I pretty much guarantee that there'll be somebody watching this that's thinking, he's not as bad as me, you know, he doesn't know what it's like, he's never had a panic attack. Well, believe me, I have had several, and I do know exactly what it's like. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that as near as two months ago, I was only leaving the house to get in my car and take my daughter to school. That was the only thing I was doing, nothing else. So in this last month's period, I've started pushing myself, I've started challenging myself, because I know that the only way that I'm ever going to do that stuff is by going out and doing that stuff. But if you only ever want to take one thing away from watching any of my videos, just know that the only reason that I was able to do what I've done today and what will follow in the video after this message is because of the things that I've already done. I still feel like crap when I do these things and I still feel sensitised when I'm at home. More so now than I was when I was comfortable doing nothing. But I don't want to live my life doing nothing. I want to live my life, full stop. So go ahead, watch the rest of my video. I hope you enjoy it. It's another exposure workout, as I like to call it now. Going back to the same store that I did last week. Enjoy. Hopefully you will see that progress can be made, but you just got to keep stick at it. Got to keep stick at it. You bellend. It's another exposure workout, as I like to call it. Same store, different day, same shit, different day. Enjoy. It's a fucking mess in here. The most important part of the day. That first copper sets you right. It's a lovely morning. that you can see in the morning when it's like this. So stage one complete, my daughter is at school. I feel all right today, like awake, which is unusual. Like you may be able to see that I 
I look a bit chirpier maybe. So it's all good. I'm going to have some breakfast, some porridge. Look, because I'm lazy. Quaker. Oh, it's so simple. That's my breakfast. I'm going to have that, and then I'm going to call my dad, and I'm going to go to his house. And we're going to get this show on the road, man. This is the sequel. It's never as good as the first one. But I'm hoping that I have a better experience. Sunny's on. It's pretty bright out today. But here we go again, man. Let's take two. Let's do this. This is it, guys. Here we go again. Take two. Let's go shopping. Oh, I'm not messing about today. We're not playing games. Fuel stop, done. I don't know if you can see me then. But it's done. Onwards and upwards. Here we are again, back at my father's, round two, I mean you may as well just watch the first video, you may as well just watch the first freaking video because this is exactly the same. We're only allowed to park here if we're using the shop. Well, guess what, mofo? He means well. Glasses off. Oh, God. Look at the state of me. Backwards freaking hat. Oh, well. Oh, it is. get some toothpaste. Do you know why? Because I can. Because I'm not pissing about. I can't see without my glasses. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm in. I'm all in today. This is the deepest part of the shop here. You can't go any further than this. Yeah, I'm wobbling. Who gives a shit? This is it. The 
back wall. This is the ion. That I couldn't get to the other day. It's pretty intense thinking about it. That's shite anyway. Here comes the panic. Here comes the feelings. He's coming with me. Yes. I'm going in and out of the freakiness. But to think that I've just been down there. It's pretty impressive, man. Yeah, I mean, I've had a few waves. And I'm determined to not allow one of those waves of panic to throw me out of the shop. I'm just riding them out, man. Time and time again, it's about three or four times it's happened. I haven't filmed as much as myself. Just trying to stay cool. Look at this, guys. That it, I should be wearing that. I'm sexy and I snow it. I know it. I've just gone for red and silver on everything. My dad's just breaking all the biscuits. Come on, let's go and get in the queue, man. We can get out of here. Thank you. expect to be doing that. Let's just take a moment to appreciate what's just happened. Going from freaking out in there on Thursday. To doing a whole goddamn checkout. Back at my dad's. I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea with him. We're sort of repeating pretty much what I did the other day, apart from going to his shop, because I don't need to. But I was thinking just quickly before I go in, like I was having so many thoughts, so many thoughts, like negative thoughts, freaking. But the difference being, because I can't stop the thoughts right now, but I can stop the way I act. I can control the way that I act when the thoughts come. And that's what I was doing. So that's a tick. A tick in the wind column. For me. Because I'm quite surprised at how that actually went. Like, think about this. Maybe, like, just over a month ago. I was only leaving the house to do the school run. That was the only time I was leaving the house, and I told you about that. So, like, last Thursday, I went and did the shop that I've just been in. I went and put fuel in with my dad. You know what I mean? And my dad did the checkout in the shop, and he went and paid for the fuel for me. So today... Well, you know, today, he did the school run, got home, had some breakfast, then went out did the fuel on my own, like before I'd even collected my dad, went in, paid for it, everything was honky-dory, went to my dad's, picked him up, went to the shop, went in, wasn't feeling, I guess I wasn't feeling quite as bad when I got there, but when I was in there, oh, it was intense, and I apologise for some of the footage, because, like, I wasn't really focusing too much on the camera, I was focusing more on what I was actually doing, but I was getting some crazy intense waves of anxiety and like near panic. It was pretty horrific, man. But I just didn't respond to them. I wasn't reacting to them the way that I usually would. I was having those thoughts of, shit, I need to get out of here. Like, how far away am I from the exit now? That's what I was thinking. 
quite often that was hitting me. That thought of just, I need to bail, I need to bail. But I didn't react. I didn't react to any of them. And then, like, even when I went and did the checkout, I was nervous. But as soon as I was at the checkout and actually engaged in something and, you know, I didn't really have a conversation with the, the lady that served me, but I was just focused on what I was doing, packing my own bag and I had to pay for my stuff because I didn't do that stuff last time. So it's a big win. It's a big win. And I feel that I could go back there. I mean, I could go back there now and do it again. But I guess I don't know whether to go back there in a future video. Probably not because it's getting, I mean, it's going to get tedious if I do the same thing. So maybe I need to kick it on now, step it up, do something else, go somewhere else. Obviously, I've got the meal out on Thursday for my birthday. I keep reminding you, I'm expecting presents. Oh dear. We just see what happens next, man. But I am continuing on this path, this tra trajectory, and even though I felt like crap for the, about I don't know, three weeks, I felt pretty lousy. I can see that it's slowly starting to lift, which is a real nice feeling because like I'm, I'm actually appreciating what I've just done. Whereas last Thursday, I was feeling pretty negative about it and it made me feel like pretty intense sensations for a, at least 24 hours after. Like I had that panic on the live stream on Thursday. That was after I'd been to the shop last time. So this time feels very different. It feels like a big win. That's about it, ladies and gents. Home again. Home to the land of comfort. But it's not very comfortable. It's not very comfortable when you've just been doing exposure therapy, but you've got to get used to that. Get used to these feelings now, and they just won't bother you in the future.